yourself and all that good stuff to start? Uh, my name is Dr. Steven, S-T-E-V-E-N, Pitt, P as in Peter, I, T as in Tom, T as in Tom, and I am a forensic psychiatrist. So, we have some murders in Maryvale. Yes. What is your expert opinion on what's going on with those murders? Well, I, I think as an expert, uh, one needs to be extraordinarily careful and very cautious about drawing any inferences uh, based on the information that's being released to the media at this time. And so anyone that can tell you who's not directly involved in the case exactly what's going on or develop a profile for you, those are not people that I frankly would want to be working with. Um, having said that, I think uh, we can pretty confidently say that uh, we have at least one person who's involved in uh, committing serial offenses. And um, while I don't believe the police have released any, uh, let me try that again. I think, uh, or, or I think what we can say relatively confidently is that by definition, we have a person who is committing uh, serial offenses or who's engaged in serial killing. Uh, what physical evidence ties that person together, I don't know, but it sounds like, minimally speaking, that the method of operation of the offender uh, is similar in so far as it sounds like the method of operation ties this individual or individuals to these five offenses. So with... Uh, does that work for you? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, you won't get much more from me, but go ahead okay. and try. Okay, I want to try. Um, with the whether it's one or it's multiple people, yeah. Um, uh, what would you be looking for in a continuation of what's happening? Because I know during the serial shooter, right. it was animals, and then it was homeless people, and then it was pretty much anybody who was standing on a street yeah, corner. Yeah, I, I think you have to be you have to be really really careful, especially uh, from a distance of drawing too many inferences based on the information that's really been released so far. I think to do so would be irresponsible. Uh, if your question is, it sounds like what you're really getting at is could there be an escalation in the behavior? That's so, the it's, anybody, it's anybody's guess. Could be a very sophisticated offender who's uh, laying low right now because the heat is on. We just don't know. Could be that the offender moved on. We just don't know. And I think um, anyone who does know is uh, anyone who claims to know who's not directly involved in this case is really just blowing smoke. What kind of profile are the police looking for? I mean, you won't get that from me. Okay. Um, I guess maybe not exactly the profile, but I guess what's the what's the thinking of how to go about trying to decide, trying to anticipate where the person. You'd is. have to talk to the police. I mean, okay. at the end of the day, what the police are doing is that they are. Uh, they're going with the information that they have. They're going with the evidence that they do have. Uh, and that evidence starts with the victimology and really trying to understand each scene, each victim, uh, whether or not there's a relationship between each of these victims, which as I understand it, there is not. Uh, and then tying together things that speak to the offender's behavior that also speak to their method of operation or their MO. Cool. Okay. That's all I got for you. All right. Okay. So you already said the thing that I wanted you to 